Niches change all the time on TikTok. The golden niches of today will become saturated or die off when a better one arises. It's just the cycle of life. This has always been the case for 99% of niches, with a certain niche making up the 1% of niches that seem to last forever. In this video, I'll reveal this golden niche and also show you how to make a new style of video within that niche. The niche that I'm talking about is the quiz niche. Every day it seems that a new way to make quiz videos pops up on TikTok, and the niche has been around for years without ever falling off. While there may be some saturation in the niche, the video style that I'll touch on today is actually completely unsaturated, and as a result, we have a golden niche to go viral on TikTok with. Look at this TikTok page. They post in this niche and have been able to scale to 120,000 followers. They're posting the content we just talked about, and each video is getting millions of views. This means that they'll be generating thousands of dollars from TikTok. I'll play you an example video so that you get an idea of what we'll be making. Where is the snake? If you found the snake without pausing, you might be a genius. All right, it's pretty simple. And by the end of this video, you'll be an expert in creating this content for yourself. Real quick, if you really wanna go viral with TikTok, then check out my school community. Let's waste no more time and jump into exactly how to create this content. In this video's description, I've left you a Google Doc, which is full of everything that we're going to use in this video. So open it up. The first thing we quickly need to make sure is that we can access the creativity program. If you are outside the creativity program regions, I have accounts for sale in this video's description. With that out the way, let's start scripting our video. As the original video uses images, I'm going to mix a both of images and questions into our video. So I'm going to head to ChatGPT and enter this exact prompt that I'll leave in the description. This will basically ask the AI to come up with a bunch of brain teaser questions. We're also going to include an image one like the original video did. As you can see, the AI has begun to generate us a list of questions to use for our video. I've asked for them to be pretty easy, as we're only going to give our viewer five seconds to answer each one. These seem pretty good, so I'm going to ask the AI to write them in the following format of putting the question and then the answer like this. Once again, this product will be in the Google Doc. The AI has now arranged questions in a way that we can use for our voiceover. So you want to copy the questions and we can move over to the next step. Without questions copied, we now need to get the image that we're going to put on the start of our video. I've gone on the internet and I've searched this phrase, brain teaser, find the hidden object. As you can see, there are loads of these style questions. Most of them are quite hard. And I've also found the one that was in the example video. So I'm going to use that for our video. I wanna click on it and save it to my device. With questions copied and this image saved, we want to head over to 11 Labs to begin generating our voiceover. Once you're on 11 Labs, the first thing you wanna do is select yourself a voice. Hit this drop down here, and as you can see, a list of voices has come up. Try out a few by hitting the play button, and once you found one you like, select it by clicking it. We now want to paste in our script from ChatGPT. Now this script is far from finished, so copy me, and we're going to make a few changes. The first change I'll make is to add periods at the end of every answer. Otherwise, our answer would just blend into our question when we make our voice over. With the pairs in place, I'm gonna to head to the top and I'm gonna add the question about finding the snake. To be specific, I'm gonna put, can you find the snake in this image? And after that, I'll put, here it is. Following on from that, I'm going to put the following hook brain teaser quiz. If you get them all right, you're a genius. I'm now going to add a few more engagement boosters throughout our video. The first one that I'll add will say, if you got the first two right, then double tap the screen. This will allow for videos to get more likes, which will help it to get pushed more by the TikTok algorithm. I'll next ask the viewer to hold down the comment button and thinking emoji. After this, I'll say, if you picked any of these emojis, you've lost. Our third engagement booster will be all about shares. I'll say, who is smarter, you or the first person that comes up when you hit share and then more. I'll lastly add a follow call to action. These really do help and it means we can get to 10K followers as fast as possible. With all your engagement boosters in place, hit generate speech if you're happy with your voiceover. Now, once Eleven Labs has done its thing, download the voiceover. We now need to grab one more thing for our video. Real quick, if you guys are struggling with TikTok, then join my school community booster. We have a full TikTok guide, as well as a spreadsheet with over 100 niches. Come join us in the description. The thing we need to grab is a countdown bar. Head to YouTube and search for green screen countdown bar. The one you want is this one right here. 
While we're on YouTube, we also need to get background gameplay for our video. I'm going to be using Minecraft Parkour, and if you guys want some really HD gameplays that will make your content stand out, I have a pack for sale in this video description. If you want to get it for yourself, head to YouTube and search for Minecraft Parkour. You want to find a video that you haven't really seen that often on TikTok. We now have everything for our video, so I'm going to go ahead and edit it in CapCut. Once you're on CapCut and have hit New Project, you want to start by importing everything we've gathered so far. I'm going to start with our voiceover. Select it and drag it onto the timeline like so. You now need to split your voiceover in between every question and answer. This is so that we can give the viewer time to answer the question. To do this, position the cursor in between where you want to split and press the split button or hit Control B on your keyboard. You want to repeat this for every question and I'll skip to when this is done. The next thing we need to do is add in our Minecraft parkour. Select it and drag it end to the time they like so. Once it's in place, you want to put your cursor where the voiceover ends and hit W on your keyboard. What this will do is it will delete the excess park or at the end of our video that we don't need. With that done, we want to head below the parkour and hit this ratio button here. On the dropdown, we want to hit 9 by 16 to put our video in the TikTok format. Once that's done, the final step is to drag the parkour so that it fills the entire screen. Without parkour done, we need to now generate some auto captions. Head to text in the top left. Now hit auto captions and then hit generate. If this is a pro feature for you, you want to download an editor called VN and add the captions yourself at the end of this video. With our text generated, we want to select all of it and head to the top right of CapCut. Once here, we want to pick a template to use for our text. We want to pick one where the text appears one word at a time, as this is always the most engaging type of captions. Once you've selected a template, you finally want to drag the text to the middle of your screen. With our captions done, I'm next going to add our image. Select it and drag it onto the timeline like so. Once it's in place, we now want to extend its duration so that it lasts till just after the answer is revealed. Now you won't need to do this with every image, however I need to go ahead and drop this image so that just the snakes and bananas are visible. Once it's cropped, you want to resize it and position it in the top half of our screen like so. Now the next thing I need to add is a circle that reveals the answer. To do this, head to stickers, and I'm going to search for circle. Once you have one you like, hit the plus button to add it to the timeline. Once it's in place, you need to edit it is duration to last to when we reveal the answer. Now obviously, drag the circle over where the hidden object slash animal is with our circle and image in place. We now need at the countdown bar, it's really easy to know where to add this. Just look at where there's no voiceover. Now the countdown bar itself is six seconds long, but that might be too long for our video. So if you wanna make it shorter, had to speed in the top right. Once on here, speed up the bar so it's as short as you need it to be. With the pass pedal, we now need to remove the green screen. Head to the Remove Background tab, and on here, we want to look for Chroma Key. Select the tool, and then click the green background in order to remove it. You also want to increase this intensity slider to around 70. The last thing we need to add to our video is the multiple choice questions. Head back to text in the top left and add some default text. Once this is in place, you want to set its duration to last throughout the entire question. Head back to ChatGPT and scroll up and find our multiple choice options. We now need to copy them all and head back to CapCut. Once back on CapCut, you want to paste them into this text box. I'm going to add a few customizations to our text now. This will include changing the color on the font. Once it's customized, you want to drag it to the bottom left of the screen. All we want to do now is copy over the countdown bar and the multiple choice questions for each answer. Repeat the previous few steps of adjusting the countdown bar and adjusting the text. Once you've repeated everything, our video is now done so you can export it. Thanks watching today's video. Remember to check out my school community in this video's description. Bye.